He's not subtle, but I am. And I'm going to manipulate him into having sex with me. Okay, should I come to your house and we can prepare you? I'm always prepared. Unless, of course, prepared means sober. Which, in that case, I'm rarely prepared. You're not performing. This is real. These are real tears. Oh, Tuesday, light me up. What does that mean? I think it could work out for you two. He seems like he's really thirsty for this new bisexual experience. And I'm a cool drink. I am. <laughs> Nip, slip. Is it? I don't know. He's also a real bitch. Entire life, people have told me I'm the most beautiful thing they've ever seen. And I'm like, no. I don't care about you and your boring little lives, because I'm gonna go have so much fun in the bathroom. What a bitch. I'm a <clears throat> huge bitch. I'm on six beta blockers and a large iced coffee. I have no idea what I'm here for. She's here for young mom. This is my wife, so just don't say anything about her appearance, okay? Okay, well the part's for redheads only. I have a wig. Big red. How you doing, Freckle? I'm drunk. You're drunk? I thought you were on beta blockers. You were driving the car. No, I'm drunk. Freckle. I'm a star. You're a pizza. I'm a pizza. Profile. Another side. All right, do the line. Come here, kids. Mama's got a surprise for you. Hey, thank you. Hi, honey. Hi, Franco. What are you doing? So I'm coming to town. Oh my God, when? Tomorrow, actually. Oh my God. That's so exciting, baby. Are you gonna stay in Aunt Freckles' Silver Lake Palace? Actually, I think I'm gonna stay with Caleb. Oh. Good luck with that. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I'm sobering up, so my mood's in shift. Yeah, you can come pick me up. Perfect. Woo! Oh my god! Jesus. I gotta go Christ. pick up Benicio. So how excited are you to see your little baby? So excited. Oh, I need to tell you about my night last night. Oh, tell me all about it. So I'm hanging out in my apartment. I've got some candles lit. I'm feeling good. I've had eight glasses of wine. Gotcha. And down in the street, I hear these two beautiful boys playing. They're skateboarding or doing flips or something. And one of them looks up at me and has the most beautiful face I've ever seen. Asian. Beautiful. And you know how I like a little Asian. You remember my date with Lynn? Very well. The point is I say, woohoo boys, and they sort of look. The one who isn't Asian is black. The, the, you don't have to, this could be a colorblind story. I want to fill it with color. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it's like there's a race problem in Hollywood right now. And in America, a racism problem. I agree. Well, this story isn't racist, it's diverse. If everyone in it was white, then it would be racist. Caleb Gallo. You know what? You're right. Go ahead. So the boys come up to my apartment and I'm wearing a robe. I'm only wearing a robe. And I say, why don't you come in my boudoir and watch me do a monologue? And they say, where's the bed? And I say, this is the bed right here. And they say, can we sit on the bed? And I say, sure, but these are expensive Japanese linen. And they say, but they're not even soft. And I say, sometimes things that are expensive are worse. Wow. So anyway, I suck both their dicks. Did you do the monologue? I did an early work by the master. Camera Diaz. And then we're gonna go to the hot tubs with those guys from last night. What are the hot tubs? Oh, hot springs. I said hot springs. You said hot tubs. Whatever. I'm gonna take a wet shower. Oh, how can you put that cloth directly on your wet skin? I'm an alien. Mm. Oh my god, that's so much lotion. With the amount I drink, I have to put the hydration back on. Tits to the wind! I hate this. 
I'm bored. Okay, well, you can go, Freckle. This thing is from outer space, okay? So I had to shoot it, you see? Because it was something like a boar. But it was a foreign object. It was too foreign for me to trust. Oh, Lord. Back on Earth. Oh, God, how I miss Earth. Why has thou forsaken us, Lord? We are in these trenches. Are the stars for you? Why can't you take us home? You're a fucking star! I'll get this part. I will get this part. Oh, you will get this part. I will get this part. <sighs> you will marry Freckle. I will marry Freckle. Hey. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, the mail's here. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Dearly beloved. It written down. Great, yeah. Okay. Thank you. We are gathered here today to unite these two men who are seven years apart in age and who are both men and who are both gay and who love each other. Both these men are not stereotypical. They do not fall into your fucking categories. Who knows? Maybe they aren't even gay. <laughs> Maybe. Just maybe, Caleb's had sex with women. <gasps> multiple, multiple women. Or maybe he hasn't. And I'll take questions on that later. But first, <laughs> I will perform Selena's masterpiece if I could fall in love. Take you in my arms and never let you Okay, we're this is thing. no, no, no. This is we're, we're not a thing. thing. We're not a thing. Not a. We're not a thing. We're a thing. We're a thing. Fistful of crap and some MDMA. Let's go. <laughs> There's one thing that's actually going on here. Okay. Is it pizza? Is it weed? Whatever that means. What does it mean? What does it all mean? Oh, I just have one thing to say to all of you. Beautiful. Beautiful people, each and every one of you. Does any one of you have any goddamn weed? <laughs>